Hello YouTube and welcome to the Indie Evolution channel. I'm in Gamer and today I'm just bringing you guys the uh well, the state of Dead State. Just a little update from the developers over at Double Bear Productions. Uh they released this on Steam earlier uh actually late last week. Um they haven't as far as I know this update hasn't been released yet. Uh, they didn't give a specific date, but these are the items that are going to be in the update for all those who are interested as they continue to build us towards a finished product here. Uh, soft lock and crash issues. Uh, well, they're tracking those down as they happen during combat, um, so they are aware of those. Uh, that's a big part of what an alpha slash beta is, is tracking down the different issues that cause crashes, lockups, runtime errors, um, if they're using C Sharp or Java, um, uh, and then if they're using C++, memory leaks and different issues that occur with, depending on the format that's using the program. Um, save slash load issues, um, they've been looking of, into ways to save load breaks the game and patching them, I'm not sure exactly what that means. Um, uh, Actually, I do know what that means. I've run into that during my Let's Play. If you're wondering why there have been so many delays, uh, I actually ended up with a save game where one of the NPCs was standing in a doorway that trapped me in a little 6x6 six six room. Uh, and the only thing I could do was to send my character back to bed, which would have him wake up the next day and that NPC would be gone. But in a seven-day demo, if you lose a day, well... I'm sure you can imagine, you know, that's that's one-seventh of the playtime that would have gone into the Let's Play. So uh, there's also going to be a save on menu option. I hope by that save on menu option, they mean that, that we will be allowed to save multiple save games. That's been another big delay in getting the Let's Play out is if there's an error, there's an issue once I've saved the game it saves over my previous saves I would really like to be able to save in sections especially um, it's just a convenience thing not just for people doing let's plays but for anyone who thinks they're going to be interested in getting involved in in dead state um, through the alpha and the beta phases they're going to be adding random encounters uh, random encounter groups and maps will be added to the build um, so this is more than likely going to take the effect when you are traveling back and forth from locations on the map. There are going to be random, random encounters that pop up. This is also going to make the survival skill in the game more useful. Um, as of now, survival just controls the speed you move on the map. But as they continue to build in this game, survival will control your character's ability to find wild food sources and it will also give you the ability to avoid said random encounters I would like to see something implemented where um, similar to the game Conquistadors which is a turn-based game more in the vein of King's Bounty I suppose where your higher survival skill actually allows you to have better positioning in combat at the beginning as an option. Um, I don't know if they have plans to implement that or if it's just going to be a straight avoid or engage option that's given to someone with high survival whereas someone with low or no survival skills is going to constantly be ambushed in those situations. Um, along that same, along those same lines of the survival skill, they are going to be adding harvesting areas to the game. That's where you're going to be able to use your survival skill to find wild food sources. Um, in future updates, going forward, we are going to see the implementation of character creation. We are also going to see goals added to the game. So in future 
builds of the game, we're going to be seeing some of the some of the RP elements come in. Uh, goals are actually how your character gets skill points, and that's how you progress your character throughout the game, is by accomplishing goals, achieving milestones, so on and so forth. Um, they're going to be adding barks, what they're calling barks. This is basically the NPC chatter that happens during during combat. You know, uh, the NPCs will have catchphrases. Um, and most games have that, you know, whoa, Nelly, you know, one guy will say if he hits a critical, you know, hopefully it'll be better than that. But that just to give you kind of an idea, uh, there will be like chatter back and forth between NPCs as, as combat goes. Right now there are sounds, but no real recorded audio or no real recorded vocals. Loot highlight. We'll be adding a system to better highlight loot containers. Um, not a big fan of that. I, you know, I, I like the the loot system the way it is now, but that's not going to take away from the game at all. Um, in one of my earlier Let's Plays, I mentioned this. Um, the roof issues. The roof, when you're outside of a building, it does not turn to a wire mesh that you can see through. So it affects sight and targeting of enemies hidden by roofs. That is something that they will be addressing in um, future builds as well. Um, the only thing I don't see on here, I don't see when this is going to happen. Um, but the the first five features I mentioned uh, the crash issues they're working on the save and load issues the save on menu the random encounters and the harvesting those are all coming in the next update um, and the last five I mentioned the character creation the goals the barks the loot highlighting and the roof issues those are all coming in subsequent updates um, so development is going on in the in the dead state world double bear is um obviously working diligently on the game I have to say for an early access guys this is a very small sample of the game for an early access but it is relatively it is relatively bug free um, for a game in this phase so I think that that double bear did go I know some people in the in the forums have complained that this is really a demo this isn't really a true early access I think Double Bear just went for for quality over quantity in this case. You know, they wanted to make sure the the mass majority of players got something functional, something working, and something enjoyable. Um, and in order to ensure that, they they condensed things down to a small amount of content and made sure that it all worked correctly. So it's better for everyone to be able to have seven days than to have 25% of your customers not be able to have anything because of some silly bug that's affecting their game uh, so I, I give them credit for that and I think their um, age of decadence I think that uh, this, they went the same direction there they went for quality over quantity um, so that's about it guys just wanted to give you an update on dead state and uh, so far it's come along well I'm enjoying the game I'm enjoying the playthrough looking forward to bringing you guys more videos uh, I think I'm, I, depending on what the timeline is for this, I may wait until the save features are implemented. Um, because I'm having, like I said, I'm having to go back and, and start some of these Let's Plays over. And the farther we go along, the more difficult that process becomes. So, but I will be bringing you guys more dead state con content more dead state updates I'll probably be doing a um, kind of a first impressions kind of kind of thing of the game now that I've gotten a little play time in so uh, that's it for this episode guys in the evolution in gamer the state of dead state gotta say from my perspective it is coming along well can't wait for these guys to implement some more of the story and some more of the RPG elements into the game uh, because there are a long list of features that are going to give this game depth. 
and give this game uh, a lot of replayability and make this game a lot more interesting than what it is now. It's it's interesting now, but but with all the features that they've talked about and all the features that that Double Bear has planned, uh, if this goes off the the way that they're supposing it will, if these features are are properly implemented. This is going to be a, a really great indie game. It's going to be something that uh, that people are going to have a lot of fun with. So uh, that's it. That's that's all I have for you guys today. Indie Evolution in Gamer. I am signing off. <laughs>